What? Mm. Hello, everybody, and thank you for coming to Deb Chanel's 40s World. And we're going to be talking about Portia Williams and why is she marrying someone or trying to be in a relationship with someone that's really, really not her age. Yeah. I mean, if Dennis couldn't keep up with her, and she was giving him a time for his money, a run for his money, Cordell couldn't keep up with her, okay? And they look just so good together now. At one time, they didn't look good together. Uh, that's because she was running around in the street like a uh, dog. But, you know, we've come to like this dog. Especially if we have to be in comparison to... uh old man over there they call simon goodbody you could barely i mean he when we see him next time he gonna be shoe footing it around you know how them old folks they be trying to walk fast but they be shoe footing like going like i don't know how you you like you washing clothes on your hand that kind of shoe footing i'm talking about but even cordell he couldn't do nothing with portia okay and i'm like portia what is going on with you girl what is going on with you because you know you're vibrant you're uh, girl you just out there you like to party you just like a little free spirit person and you gotta know now once you do something that's not really good it comes back to you full circle and that's karma all right so if you didn't really let that situation die completely before you tried to hook up with that old man don't you think bad things are going to come back to you portia i'm just saying Lord, he looks so old. Oh, he look, he look like somebody your mama would date, and then I think she would turn him down. I mean, come on. Fallon Pina is not a bad looking woman. And to put both of y'all next to each other, y'all kind of look like sisters. But girl, where are you going with this man? This man it's just like you there with your grandfather. He looked like your grandfather. He looked like Jose Williams. Girl, he looked like Jose Williams. And then he tried to dress in that blue jean jacket. Whoo, child. That's just an old man, girl. That's an old man. I don't know what you're doing. You trying to play Nene role, girl. Because Nene got Greg. You remember that? Because you know you a fighter. You remember that with you and Kenya, girl. And Carlos King and Andy Cohen were trying to separate y'all. Girl. And then y'all became best buds after y'all had children. You remember PJ? And Baby Brooklyn, they were having a little time on the show. And then, you know, I don't know what is finger pointing coming in, but Cynthia had kicked you in the vagina because somebody, one of y'all was saying, get, get your fingers out of my face. You know, that's intruding in the personal space zone. And, you know, y'all didn't like it. And then, you know, Dennis, mom, she don't really care for you either until you sign that prenup. And I don't, I really don't know what Miss Diane doing. I think she don't gave up on you. And your sister, I don't think she, I, I don't know. She can't even handle you, Portia. She cannot even handle you. Because everybody know you bought them paws. So, how is that old man? And I think her name is Sunday Anami. She does a lot of commentary on Simon Child. So what you gonna do? You gonna hold it down with all your might and then gonna have to go get a aspirator or a ventilator for yourself. Because this girl like to fight. Y'all see Portia going down that alley. Yeah, that was on Real Housewives of Atlanta when poor I mean Phaedra was on the show at the time. And see, that's the scene that I was talking about. I don't know how it's gonna break up, but that's on Portia's new show. Okay? She will fight somebody. Or trying to defend herself. I don't know. But that's when she was running that alley. And then she would do that do work on that girl. And you know she freaky. She freaky. That's why Todd liked her. And that's Layla Lynn. Her little caption in there. If you go catch her. Uh, she gives out good commentary as well. And you know that's when her sister was pregnant. I don't think Portia was pregnant at the time. And she was. I don't want to say jealous. But you know she wanted to have a baby too. By looking at her younger sister have a baby. She got all in baby mode. But yeah. Kenya wanted Portia fired. And probably Cynthia wanted Portia fired too. Because. Um, well really to tell, you, to tell you the truth. They both got good leaks off of each other. Because uh, Cynthia couldn't really put the paws on her. She just put the foot up. To keep her away from her. Because Portia was going to go in on her. And I mean in on her. Okay. She was going to connect. If you get my drill. But uh, I don't know how 
Everybody, man, think he gonna keep up with uh young vibrant Portia. She like to party. She like to dress sexy and slanky. She like to do hookahs. You know, she likes that strange sex. Okay, allegedly. Because if Todd wanted to get down with him, allegedly, <laughs> you know. <laughs> you know they get down strange. But that's none of my business. That's really not none of my business. I just thought I'd throw that out there since we were talking about how Portia likes to live a fun-filled life. And just thinking about that, remember Nene had put Portia as her baby sister. I guess because Portia reminded her of her heyday. But I just don't know how she got hooked up with Greg. See that grandpa. Well, we liked it, grandpa. Yes, we did. He didn't cause no infractions. No infractions. He was just a good old gentleman. But it makes you wonder how and why did Nene choose somebody older? Much, much older than her. Which is seemingly the same thing that Portia's doing with this Simon Gabadia fellow. Okay, I'm like, did Nene give you play a playbook, honey? Or how to catch a man and you'll be able to train him and do him do he'll do everything you want him to do. And I'm like, Simon don't look like that kind of guy, girl. It's like he gonna trick you. And Greg, and that's a Jasmine brand, used one of her pictures. Hey Jasmine Brand, please go over there and um look at her channel. She gives great commentary too on celebrity news. Uh and tell Adele Chanel Sport Swirl sent you over. But yeah, I was just, ooh, I was fascinated, floored, and intrigued with that photo. I mean, they were giving me life. They were giving me total, well, not life, but they were giving me excitement when I was just seeing a trailer. But this little picture just kept coming up. And it was like Portia was somewhere in the middle. And they were saying she was getting ready to fight somebody. And you know, we got to, you see what, you see, you see her running right. You see her running down in the alley. She was finna do do work on somebody. And that lady's face was looking so ugly. So I'm like, damn, Portia, what you do? Running up against the garbage can several times with your fist? Did you connect that well? Because that lady came out looking like that. In just a few minutes of Portia being in the alley with her. Now, I'm just saying. Now, then he already done told her, if you're going to do an infringement like that, make sure it's not caught on camera. And, of course, you see, because I just showed you, it was caught on camera. So that's why Portia had to go to an anger management. But I just don't understand. I mean, is she taking a playbook from Nene by trying to date somebody much older? I ain't going to say wiser because she done had three wives and Portia said she going to be number four. So I don't know how cool this brother is. But I just know he's not for her. If we just go on looks and likes and body language. I'm like... Dennis, come get your baby. Come get your baby. Your baby mama. Please come get your baby mama. But that man looked just as old as Greg. You know what I'm saying? And Greg aged well. Like fine wine. But that's some, that's Simon Gabadia. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. He looked like he done did some hard time somewhere. In somebody's penitentiary. I'm just saying. Now, Nene did have taste. But I don't understand why she went for somebody so much older. Maybe she was insecure at the time. And he was just treating her real well. And how a man is supposed to protect and take care of a woman. Maybe he did that in his heyday years. And then he was just, ooh, she just couldn't take her mind off this man. And then as time went on, they probably grew more into friends. Real good friends. Real good confidants. Because it don't seem like Greg was getting anything up. If Nene just kissed his belly button, he'd be like, ooh. <laughs> ooh, I don't came, baby. That's good. Let me just go to sleep now. You know what I'm saying? Then Nene probably go get her rocks knocked off somewhere else. And he probably gave her permission. Because when you get a certain age, you can't do all that stuff. Yes, you can't do all that stuff, Prince. Ooh. I was like, I just don't see what Portia sees in this man other than he having money. And if he had money, he should be broke by now because I have really no funds if he was married three other times. Now, of course, they said Fallon Pena had, you know, had an affair on him. But then, you know, she probably said something different. Maybe Simon had an affair on her, too. And she was just playing it back. You know what I'm saying? Tit for tat. 
But I don't understand why. I'm, I'm right with Kat. Why would you marry this man, honey? Or, or be having the intentions of marrying him. Let me say that. Because to tell you the truth, I'm like, I'm going for Dennis now. I wasn't on the Dennis train at one time. I wasn't buying it. Because, you know, he still seems like, well, maybe he don't seem, he don't seem as, as flashy and want to be out there at the moment. And maybe because he's growing in his to in his maturity, who knows? But he was at that table telling Portia he wanted her back, and he didn't want her to marry this man. And I was like, okay, either this is a elaborate scheme between Portia, Dennis, and this Simon fellow to give the impression that they're getting married, but this is all for TV and show. Then I would say masterpiece, well played out. Thank you, you know, to give her a very good solid season one and season two. But honey, if this is true love, woo child, no, you ain't gonna baby have no more babies because I don't think he's. I don't. I think somebody said he had a vasectomy, so that's out. So what would you really want with this man? You can't have any babies. You can't have any heirs for if he's supposed to be a prince or something. Or a king or something. I mean, what are you wasting your time for, Portia? You're not getting old. I mean, you're not getting younger. You're getting older, baby. And them years just start to whip around, whip around. Trust me. Because I'm trying to figure out where all my life went. Where all my time went. Okay? But, hun, I know Cordell did you wrong. I know he did you wrong. And I know Dennis did you wrong by cheating while you were pregnant and stuff. I understand. But Cordell didn't, you know... He ain't really want to have no baby by you. He really didn't. Because, you know, people on the streets were saying he kind of like not liking women, allegedly. He liked the other same gender type thing. Yeah, that's what they say, Kat. That's what they say. But that's all alleged, allegedly coming out of my mouth, all right? But Dennis, you know, he's being a man, a typical man. But he seems like if he's doing this elaborate scheme, if it is a scheme to get this pilot off to a running good start, then magnificent, then magnificent, uh, excellent day, uh, peace de resistance. Thank you. Thank you for the little trailer teaser because it gave me all of a good laugh, a good chuckle. And I was like, damn, if Portia don't stop putting her hands on folks, she's going to land herself in the jailhouse if she keep on messing around like that. And Nene already told her, keep that stuff off camera, girl. Keep that stuff off camera. But how Bravo seems to manipulate, manipulate people and things, she won't get in trouble for it. Shit, they'll just send her back to anger management class or whatever. And then if it was one of her cousins she was getting into with or maybe one of her friends, they'll talk them, they'll smooth things over too. Say, so, you know, these, these things we kind of anticipate, but here you go. Here's some cash, you know. Go on and forget about it. No harm, no foul. All right. Makes for good TV. So that may be the uh, scenario they may be playing with this whole um uh, show they're giving us you know it almost be smoking mirrors smoking mirrors and it may not even turn out to where we think it may turn out it may be something where dennis actually runs and, and be her knight in shining armor and you know just get up there and propose to her again and they actually get married and that would be like a fairy tale you know down to in distress you know trying to keep her from marrying the wicked man of the west Cause don't nobody like Simon. Cause everybody trying to figure him out and try to get that dirt on him. And I'm not that one. But if it comes across my feed and I thought it was like ooh appetizing, then yeah, I'll talk about it too. But I ain't finna go up there, you know, trying to pay my money to go get some um, documents that's free to the public on any old person like Simon or anybody really. I, I like my money to myself. I don't like to waste it frivolously unless I know. I, I want to waste it frivolously, but it ain't going to be on checking on what somebody else got. You know what I'm saying? I don't keep up with the Joneses. Sure don't. But, y'all, that's all I got, honey. I was just trying to show y'all Portia fighting. She still fights. She got I mean, I think her daddy was a fighter. And if they come, she comes from the Williams clan and Jose, the silver um, 
activists here in Georgia. He marched with Martin Luther King and were very good friends with him as well. Civil rights activists. Uh Jose didn't play in Atlanta, honey. He 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 was all down there and, and power to the people and, and black power and all that stuff. He was a, a good advocate for social injustice. And um his son married Portia's mama and child that's like the Black Panther right there, you know what I'm saying? But I don't think Diane got down like that, meaning Portia's mama. But that fighting was in there, so that she get her fighting from her daddy, her daddy side of the family. But they don't take no mess, honey. Jose William daughter don't take no mess either, honey. And she be feeding the hungry up here in uh, Jose Feed the Hungry organization. She's the president over there for that. Uh, it's, I tell you, of course she get it honestly. But she got she to stop putting them hands on folks. She really do. She got to stop putting hands on people. And just walk away sometimes. But that's why I'm saying if she can't hold her own and handle her own actions how is her future fiance prince or or king of whatever country gonna handle her because it looked like with that him holding her down on the sofa when it seemed like he was trying to keep her from going anywhere and she was doing all that highly which she shouldn't have been doing anyway because she should be past that point of putting hands on somebody unless it was somebody coming for her daughter you know or her mama or something like that you know she was just defending herself then i could see that but just because somebody was just talking outside of their neck and all that stuff and you invited them there no ma'am portia no ma'am so i just got two questions you know why is she hooked up with this joker you know, did Nene have something to do with it to say, hey, you get your old man and you don't have to do a lot that you have to do with them young boys. You know, just, you know, massage them real well and put them to bed. And then you go out and have fun. Well, I'm like, I don't think Greg had any money. Because uh, Nene was actually bragging that she was paying for everything. So, I'm like, Portia, do this man got any money, girl? Do he have any money? And you trying to cash in on it. Allegedly, Nene taught you how to do such things. I don't know, girl. I don't know. Or maybe Greg was handling her and she liked it the way he was handling her when she was younger. And he was like middle age. And he was showing her the better life of things. But I don't know. But I'm like, Portia, slow your roll, honey. Because you don't want to be babysitting his children and be taking care of him because he don't fail ill. And you're going to have to be a caretaker for this young man. That you're trying to marry an old man, I should say. Then where's your life going to go? Okay, because Diane, she said she ain't walking no more. I'm just lying. I don't know what Diane would do for her daughter. But I'm pretty sure she don't feel like rocking nobody else's children. Because she got enough to worry about on her own. Okay. But that's all I got for this video. I just thought it was just a cute chuckle. You know, I was like, I got, I, I, it just came into my head. Like, wait a minute, where did I see this picture before? And I thought immediately of Nene and Greg. And I was like, that's the age difference. Lord, Portia needs to stop looking at Nene life. Because honestly, she ain't going to be running after no old man no more. He going to be her age pretty much. Or maybe a couple of years uh ahead of her but it ain't gonna be no big age gap like she was with greg that's for sure and portia know she needs somebody to be springing in action with her like dennis or somebody in that age group because uh simon can't move that quick <laughs> he can't move that kid you might get him a cane or a walker honey because he ain't gonna be able to keep up with you in a couple of years he ain't gonna be able to do it and you definitely ain't gonna be able to get no sexing out of him he don't have a vasectomy too girl child please but that's all i have for this video guys if y'all like it love it gotta have more please don't hesitate but to share 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 my videos and like my videos okay share and like and i will see y'all next time good night